It's time to finally solve the mystery of who this guy is. Yes, you've probably seen plenty of theories, streams, reactions, reviews and whatnot in which people theorize who that man could be. That bowler slash top hat wearing dude with shades and forearms. When chapter 1096 came out, everyone was wondering who the heck that dude is. But let me tell you, I might have the answer to the question and you will probably like it depending on how much you love cola. The Rocks Pirates A crew of legendary people led by Rocks D. Serbeck were once considered the most dangerous and strongest pirate crew of their time. Before Roger's reign, it was them who ruled the seas. This brutal and feared group consisted of many legendary pirates, namely Edward Newgate, Big Mom, Kaido, Shiki, Captain John, Buckingham Stussy, and many more. In chapter 1096, where we get some insight into what happened at Good Valley, we saw the face of another person. A man yet unknown to us until recently. This man. But we don't only see a bit of his face. We also see him jumping into action together with the other rocks pirates. He sports sunglasses, a type of bowler hat and a typical pirate coat. But there's something weird about the man. He has four arms. As many already pointed out, we might have already seen him in other places. In chapter 450, we see Absalom who awakens the zombie generals. And among them, there's a guy with four arms wielding guns. He wears the same hat, but his face is not shown. Furthermore, we don't see the guy anymore from this point on. We can watch how Luffy, Robin and Frankie encounter the zombie generals, but the guy with the four arms is not among them. Neither in the wedding scene with Nami, nor when Oars pounds the whole bunch to breadcrumbs, we don't see him. You could ask yourself the question why? Is it just that Oda forgot to show the guy after this? Why put so much detail into him then? Or is it rather that showing more of that guy would have been too telling? They even made his head more unrecognizable in the anime. So why? Why is that guy so mysterious? When I looked at the face of that man, something struck me. I noticed something familiar which led me to make this theory. Take a look at the guy. His overall impression gives off a western style wipe, complete with four guns and donning a bowler head. But of course, I want to provide some clues first that might support my idea. So why don't we start with the forearms? We have seen plenty of characters in One Piece with all kinds of body forms and shapes. But for arms, that's rather rare. That belongs in a museum. The only one I found was in chapter 827, right after Luffy and Chopper ate a whole building. But from the looks of it, he is most likely a fishman hybrid. Also, the arms are aligned differently than with the man from Rocks. He could very well have another pair of arms hidden underneath the panel. Remember, Big Mom said she was only missing three races on Totoland. From all we know so far, it's Giants, Lunarians and now possibly Buccaneers. The races that do live in her kingdom though are Human, Fishman, Merfolk, Minks, Snakenecks, Longarms, Longnecks, Tontada and Free Eyes along with several hybrids. That made me think that four-armed guy either could be a hybrid or he augmented his body. His teeth at least give me a very human vibe, so I think he really is not a hybrid especially since Dellinger's a hybrid too, but has sharp teeth. What if that dude was actually a cyborg? Now that I said this, you might have caught on to what I am getting at. What if that person was actually Frankie's dad? Let's call him Cutty Wayne for now. Named after John Wayne, the famous western actor. Let's stick with the forearms. You may already know that Oda is a big fan of Star Wars. But if you didn't, he even has a life-sized R2-D2 robot in his office. Just take a look at all the Star Wars merchandise he has standing around in his office. You may know a character named General Grievous. His character was introduced in the 2003 animated series Star Wars Clone Wars. In his appearance in Chapter 25 of Star Wars Clone Wars, we see him splitting his two arms into four, reading four lightsabers. The chapter in Philobard though came out in April 2nd of 2007. So there definitely was enough time for Oda to get inspired by this. Just look at the different instances where we can see lightsabers. Kizaru has one, Caesar has one, now even Bonnie has one. But I am not here to convince you that Oda loves Star Wars. He's also a lover of many other genres as you folks know. 
Western for example. You can see several characters or cover arts or even places in One Piece that showcase the Western genre. So yeah, he loves Star Wars, he loves Western, why not make a cowboy like dude with a bowler hat and forearms wielding four guns? Cutty Wayne is born. Well, or rather, he emerges from the ground. And now, look at that man. The right grin, the sideburns, the shades. A good friend of mine, Kusoland, did me the honor to draw and color Mr. Cutty Wayne. And look what we have here. That smile, these eyes, the chin, the sideburns. To me, the whole picture screams Frankie. Now think about it. Frankie has a natural born talent to build stuff, right? Is it so far fetched that his father had the same talents? Especially in One Piece. I say his dad either had some machine hanging on his back, which provided him with another pair of arms, or he augmented his body just as Frankie did. Frankie too has several limbs in a way. Remember when he showed us his weird form of the centaur, but he has also additional two arms, which come out of his hands when he works with smaller and intricate objects. Both he and his presumably father shoot with guns. Frankie even went a bit further and upgraded to laser technology. Oh, and also, no matter how old Frankie gets, he keeps wearing his sunglasses. Maybe being susceptible to sunlight runs in the family? Nah, I might be trolling with this, but Oda tends to give family members traits which they share. But maybe there are some clues hidden in Frankie's original name. Cutty Flam. The words Cutty and Flam can actually mean many things. I was pretty surprised by that, but there were two definitions that piqued my interest the most. Cutty, among other things, is used as a slang term in certain regions. For example, in bay areas, Cutty can mean hidden somewhere away from the general view. Usually it describes a shady or sketchy area. Or it can be used to describe a person who is street smart and knows many shady or dangerous people. Hmm. The Frankie family were some shady folks, not gonna lie, but it is also used to describe situations in which illegal or immoral activity is happening, but usually with a positive spin. If that doesn't sound like our reader Frankie, then I don't know what. But what about the word flam? Among other things, it can mean a falsehood or deception, or to cheat or deceive. Frankie was pretty good at deceiving his enemies so far. He even managed to hide the blueprints of Pluton until he burned them. So what is it that Frankie has yet to reveal about his past? Let's take a look at it. Frankie mentions in chapter 490 that he came from the South Blue over 30 years ago via Reverse Mountain, when he was just a baby. How does he know that? Someone told him that, right? There's no way around it. So who could have told him that? Well, probably his parents. At the age of 10, Tom adopted Frankie and he revealed that he had been abandoned by his parents, who were pirates. Frankie said it himself that his parents tossed him overboard because he was an unmanageable brat. Take a look at our boy Frankie here. After being tossed into the sea and arriving at Scrap Heap Island, he was already able to build stuff out of rubbish. Not to mention the sunglasses he is already wearing on his head. So yeah, his parents were pirates. After the time skip, Frankie is 36 years old. Got where they happened 38 years ago. Some of the rock pirates founded their own crews after what happened at God Valley. We know that. The Rocks Pirates were no more. Big Mom, Kaido, Whitebeard, they all went their own ways. So why not Cutty Wayne too? Tom says, apparently there were some no good pirates. So now imagine this. Frankie's dad sails the sea from island to island, doing his pirate thing, raising his unmanageable bread at the same time, but at some point they reach a situation where they have to abandon the kid because of lack of food or any other reason. He takes Frankie and throws him overboard. Have you never wondered why Frankie wanted to build a weapon to kill Sea Kings so bad? Maybe he saw his dad taking down Sea Kings while he was on the ship still. As a former rocks pirate, surely he could handle those beasts. He would keep nagging his dad to train him. Or he maybe tried to impress his parents by building weapons. And one day, his father couldn't handle it anymore, threw him overboard saying, don't let me see you again until you kill Sea Kings yourself. Something like that? Maybe a bit traumatic. Maybe a Sea King destroyed his father's ship. And Frankie just told Tom that he got thrown overboard. It's one piece, right? Either way, Frankie is talented. When his body was destroyed by the sea train, he managed to get on this ship. The going theory is that this is the former Mad's ship, right? So he goes up there and manages to augment his body with scraps and stuff to make himself a cyborg. Even if he was a talented shipwright, don't you think that that was rather weird at his age? He must have had some knowledge already of how to do stuff like that. And I say he got it from his dad because he too had an augmented body. It's not so far-fetched that the man is Frankie's dad, if you think about it. 
As I mentioned earlier, we don't see the forearmed gun wielding zombie ever again. I think that's because if Frankie would have met him, together with the other zombie generals, he would have recognized his father. There was a big emphasis on showing how that man got out of his grave, only to never show him again. Until God Valley. We all assumed that Eckhart would be Frankie Sark, but so far, we haven't seen much. But this might change in the future if we got to know more about Frankie's father. Oh, and right after the panel with the four-armed guy wielding zombie, we have an SBS with the shipwrights of Order 7. This could be a hint, or not. Thank you for watching, Marth out.